two of the demo where there will be audio and I will be showing you exactly how we prepared the file from the file we received from the client. I'll open the file. As you can see, this is the normalized PDF that the client has sent us. This will, I'll be stepping through it quite fast so you'll see what it's involved with it. As you can see, the client has got a CAD file around it, so I'm now able in Art Pro to actually visually view the file. These files can also be output into a PDF format or use a 3D PDF format to be exact, and your client can view the result as well to see how it fits on the package. So to start with, there are two layers, as you can see. I'm going to switch the CAD layer off for now to actually look at the client's file and see what it does. You can see there's multiple layers inside here. I do not need those to start the cutting creases for technical uh, cuts for the file. The first thing that you're going to notice is this is a normalized PDF. I'm going to change that into what's called a PDF plus file. That just gives me more functionality. It takes some of these inks and it will convert them into technical layers instead of just inks. <clears throat> I do not need to have that ink on this at the moment, so I, I'm going to disable that. The next step would be actually to clean this file, so I'm going to select everything in that file. As you can already see, there's bleed masks and things appearing all over the show. So a quick clean of the file will just allow me to do things like merge paths, clean groups, and execute clipping paths. Quick and easy, it's done two, five, and seven. Clean up seven paths, and then it's removed two unnecessary clipping masks. It's also clean up five uh, loose items that were laying around on the screen. That was very fast. The next thing I'm going to do is a quick pre flight on this. The pre flight I'm going to use is a preloaded one that I've uh, already arranged. Basically, what it's going to do is it's going to find different things for me. It's going to look into the file based on the criteria put for scans, lines, text, etc. And it will find what it, what it finds wrong. So as you can see here, the first one, it finds three parts. That's incorrect. So if I want to know where this is. It's quite easy. I'll start at the bottom and just zoom to that area. It's found something. And as this criteria that I said, it's got to be bigger than 0.2 millimeters. So you see it finds this as... 0.19, close enough, but not we have specified 0.2 millimeters. These two parts and the other are a little bit different. These lines should be the same as that. This is quite easy because my mouse control is right in front of me. I can affect only the areas I want to see. That is 0.4 millimeters. As you, I will now just take the, these two parts and change them to 0.4 millimeters. So those are corrected. If I now do another check, it will come up and tell me that the, the flight has passed all the criteria. That would be the next part that I would have done. What I want to do is I just want to show you where the areas were on the Kaline's file. This area here, as you can see, was supposed to be packaging powered by, not by purchasing, but just by. So it's a typo. I'm going to just select the area that I want to affect, which is that text. As you can see, it's not text, it's converted to part, so I'll just quickly go in. I'm going to look at the text, convert the outline text back into text. So I want it at a 90 degree angle. That is now text. I can just simply go in and remove the offending areas. Yeah. So I don't want that, and I can now type in what I want. It will give me a preview area for that. I'm just going to accept it to show you what's happened. So if I extend this box a bit. Yep. I'll complete the sentence. Sorry about that. Oh. That is now completely editable text. And I've fixed the typo up. The other thing that the client has asked us to look at is the barcode. The digit is wrong. It should have been an 8 instead of a 7, and therefore the check digit will also be corrected. Okay. When I select this, this is also not a barcode. It's just lines. 
in order to fix that, I've had to go in and convert the lines into an actual barcode. As you can see on the top here, it's done that for me. I can go in and correct the offending digits, which was this one corrected, and the system itself will correct the check digit. In this case, the check digit will be fine. I can, if I continue to check, I can see that the light meter is also missing. I can correct that by just simply adding one, and that is now corrected as well. So those are the corrections that were necessary to make. The other part that the client asked is that if we can correct this part of the scan, he does not want cyan in the scan. And as you can see, this actually does have cyan. So for this channel, I'm now doing channel mapping. I can tell you that I'm removing the cyan channel, and I'm going to replace it with Pantone 2925. And that should use that channel. So that is now color corrected. With that done, the only other thing there for me to do on this file was to trap it. And trapping is quite easy. I simply go in, set my criteria where I want the pullbacks and trap to be exactly the same. In this case, it was the case that they wanted it the same. And I go and create the trap layer. The trap layer is now created. And I will show it to you. My trapping has been done. I'm going to zoom into this area to show you what the trap actually looks like on the graphics. So, editable traps. As you can see, it does show you the third color generation of the trap. And if I want to interact with that trap, I simply have to go in and enter my trapping mode. If I don't like the way the trapping has been done, if I want to change direction on any of these traps, it's quite easy. I simply click in the area and tell it which way I want it to trap. As in this case, the light color is trapped into the dark color, I will ask it to change the direction of the trap. Very interactive, so all the traps are individual traps and they do use colors. That was the extent of what the changes were that was necessary for the client, and I am now done with my trapping, I can leave my trapping mode, and that is the file. Once again, I can still view all those changes, etc., in full color. Thank you very much for watching this.